What up, what up? Wimboys here, and today I'm excited to show you guys fractals inside of Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first off, I want to say thank you to Machina. They sent me over this fractal pack that literally just came out a day or two ago. And so I'm going to dive into Unreal Engine 5 just to do a quick overview of what we have in here. But if you go to the Unreal Engine store, and I'll leave this link down below, but if you could look at the screenshots, these are some of the things that we have access to within this plugin here. So again, I'll leave this link down below and big thank you to these guys for sending this over to me to check out. So now I'm inside of Unreal Engine. Whenever you get this plugin, it comes with a bunch of different packs inside of here that we're able to manipulate. This is the overview that we're looking at right now. As you can see, we have about nine different fractals in here. And this overview just kind of shows you all of them. But if you come down here into the content browser, you can see over here on the left hand side, we actually have more access to all of these inside their own structure. And so I'm going to come over here and maybe let's start with this one. This is the one that most people saw in the example It's called bulb light, but we have this cool fractal in here that looks pretty cool. We have some admission materials. We have some black materials in here. And if I come right here where we have like this little white texture here, if I double click on this, so let me just move this so we can see both at the same time here inside of our viewport. And so we have it inside of our viewport here. We have all of our different attributes here. So if I scroll down here, let's say, maybe let's come down here to admissions. We can actually turn on and off the admissions here. Just give that a second. You can see we no longer have our admissions in here, but it looks cooler with the glow. So we could play around with some of these attributes in here like so, which is really, really dope. And all these attributes are also accessible inside your sequencer. So if you wanted to animate these moving, they actually did a tutorial on there on how to do that as well. So I'll link their YouTube channel in there as well. We could come down here. We could change the color if we want to. Let's say we wanted to do something in like the bluish range. Let's come down here. We could do mandible power, which you can actually like animate this part too, which is really cool. So this is the camera that they already have set up inside the scene gives us a nice look with the depth of field and everything in here as well. Again, if we come down here, double click on it, we have access to all these different attributes down here. So right here under texture, we have other textures that we could use as well. So maybe let's try this one, give it a completely different look, come down here. Maybe let's do this one here. That looks pretty cool. So if anybody's done any type of fractal stuff in the past, you know, it's all about just coming in here, playing around with the different attributes kind of seeing what kind of cool stuff you could come up with and just kind of flying through it like so this one looks like an ancient structure kind of like something you have like some type of buildings inside of like a mountain cave which is cool too because we can actually take these scenes bring them into other projects or we could download mega scans bring it into here like since this is an unreal engine project file we could take it and use it in any type of projects that we want which is really really dope so if you come up with a cool fractal we can actually take it bring it into other scenes and make really cool environments. Like I can see some type of like space age type scene being made in here. Like it almost looks like the Death Star from inside of here. Let's come in here, see what kind of attributes we could play with. Let's see, scroll down. Maybe let's change the color, something like purplish. So as you can see, it's all about playing around with the fractals. They're totally random in what you're getting. And so it's cool that they set up these little scenes so that we could go in there and kind of just manipulate them off the fly. So that's a cool camera angle right there. We have some really nice depth of field in there. Let me open up this material pack in here, see what kind of attributes we could play with. So again, maybe let's go. Oh, I see. So it's coming off these tendrils here. So maybe let's pick something like that. Let's maybe see what else we could play around with here. Oh, we could change out the gradient point here which that's starting to look pretty dope. Change out this gradient midpoint. So you can see we're coming up with some really, really cool stuff in here. Let's say I wanna bring the power up to like, maybe like five, somewhere around there. Come down here, let's say we want to do, I'm not even sure what these do. So let's say 100, okay, let's say 200 maybe. See what we get there. Bring it back to like 150-ish somewhere around there let's see what else we can play with here so yeah coming up with some really cool designs as i said i just literally got this from these guys the other day 
so i'll probably play around with it a little bit more and see what kind of cool stuff i could come up with inside of like an environment or something like that but just wanted to kind of put this on your radar in case anybody else is interested in fractals we now have it inside of unreal engine 5. so once again these guys sent me this plugin to play around with i'm probably going to play with it a little bit more i literally just got this so i'm not sure how powerful it is and what limitations we might or might not have. And so I'll probably do a follow-up at some point, but wanted to just put this on your guys' radar in case you're interested in playing with something like this. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Maybe tag me on some of the fractals that you guys are making out there. Leave me a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, of course, subscribe. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. i see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.